Thanks a lot. Uh, I'm Akshay. I'm the CEO for Crowd Genie. Uh, this is actually my slide here, uh, so which is good. Uh, quick background, I'm based in Singapore. Uh, unlike a lot of other guys, we've actually already done our ICO. It's, I'm here more to kind of talk to you a little bit about who we are. And I'm in this side of the world just to kind of grow our awareness about Crowd Genie and also talk to our development team here in uh, Poland. Right? So what we're trying to do is to build our an Asia-wide platform for real-world assets. And when I say real-world asset, I mean things which are not financial assets. Think of it like property, think of it like uh, syndicated loans, think of it like uh, you know, loans backed by assets. Those are the areas that we're trying to kind of build, tokenize them, and make them tradable across the region. The reason we do that, we've been in operation for now almost 24 months in uh, Singapore. Uh, our platform is crowdgenie.com. It's actually operational. We are one of only five to six platforms in Singapore that have a license from the Monetary Authority of Singapore. And uh, we have a very broad license in capital market services license, which is actually very difficult to get. Uh, the reason I say that's important is because while a lot of people are trying to solve this problem, what is not very well known is that to do this, you need to be regulated by every market. And just saying that we will be able to do that from a technology standpoint is not enough. What we do is we have the experience and the, and the licensing compliance to be able to pull this off in action because we, we have the licenses in place in Singapore. right? So what we're trying to do, as I said, is if you look at this chart uh, from liquidity on one side and risk and, and, and you know, the transparency on the other side. The financial assets actually are the easiest to do. You know, manage futures, stocks, all of these things. What is difficult to do is the one on the bottom right, which is private equity, uh, hard assets. And those are the reason they're difficult is because even though the market is huge, it's a, we're talking in just Asia Pacific, a $2 trillion market. That market is huge. But the problem is getting these on the blockchain is very, very, very difficult. And what we want to do is to solve this problem because this problem is solved, the top left, which are transparent, liquid, you've got ETFs, you've got stock exchanges, all of that. The bottom right is the one that becomes very really difficult. And we're trying to solve that, right? And like I said, to solve that, you need a mixture of blockchain because that allows you to kind of tokenize them. You need regulation and you need KYC. All three things have to kind of come in place for you to be able to pull that off, right? So what our, our system is planning to do is because we've been working for the last 24 months, we know how to do KYC, we in a, both from a borrower standpoint and from a lender standpoint. You see a lot of uh, you know, blockchain-based KYC situation, uh, you know, startups in, in this conference, but it's, that's just proof of identity. When you're doing risk assessment, you're also trying to figure out whether the borrower is actually saying the truth or not. If I say I have a building in Sydney, but I actually there has to be somebody who has to go down there and see that building is not a plot of land uh, and there is no building on there. Right? So we have the ability to actually do on-site verification of all, a lot of these assets. So we not only have the KYC for the, borrow, for the lenders, but we can actually do on-site risk assessment for each of the uh, due diligence for each of the assets that come online. So if you look at our thing, what we're trying to do is the end state is to get to an asset exchange. But before we get to the asset exchange, we need to have a KYC, we need to have a risk assessment engine before we get into the asset exchange. Uh, first two, we already do. The challenge is now to just put it down on, on the blockchain, which, which is why I'm here in, in Europe. Uh, we're working with the technology partners here. The next one will be in the next 12 months, you will see the asset exchange come online uh, from us. What's the plan? We're already in Singapore, like I said. I'm in talks with the Singapore government to go to Australia in the next six months, and we probably go to India the following 12 months. So Singapore is already live. We are in Australia, New Zealand. Hopefully, we have a rep office in the next six months and then India goes in next, right? I think I'm in time. We have, you can look me up. We are at booth 417. Uh, I'm there myself, so we're very short-staffed. 
uh, web is genieico.net. You'll see my white paper there. You can reach out to me, and our address is in Singapore. Feel free to drop in. Love to talk to you guys. Thank you.